Hi everyone and welcome to today's yoga session. For today, I encourage you to get up and get your body moving outside. Today I'm taking a walk to get my body moving and to start grounding down by focusing on my breath. You might be thinking to yourself that walking isn't yoga, but anything that you do where you can focus on your breathing is considered yoga. So today I'm going to tell you a few facts about why walking is so beneficial for you. And I encourage you to bring me along on your walk today and begin to focus on your breath and the sounds happening around you. So as I read these facts to you, you'll be focusing on your inhales and your exhales. And it'll be a little bit different from meditation because our eyes are gonna be open and our body is gonna be moving. So keep your legs moving, your arms pumping, as we continue to focus on our inhales and our exhales. Walking helps improve circulation and it actually wards off heart disease um, as you bring up your heart rate, it lowers your blood pressure and can strengthen your heart. It also helps you enjoy a longer life. So research finds that people who exercise regularly in their 50s and their 60s are 35% less likely to die over the next eight years than their non-walking counterparts. So people who have a regular exercise schedule are definitely going to be more likely to have a healthier life. It can also help you lighten the mood. Walking releases natural pain-killing endorphins to the body, which is the emotional benefit of working out that we've spoken about before. A California State University, Long Beach, studied studies showed that more, the more steps people took during the day, better moods they were in. So if you ever have a friend who wants to challenge you, who can gain the most steps, definitely take part in that if you're able to because you'll notice not only you're walking more, but your mood will increase. And it'll also help you lose weight. A brisk 30 minute walk burns about 200 calories. And over time, these calories burn lead to pounds dropped. So if anyone's worrying about their weight right now, walking can be a good way to start that process. It also strengthens your muscles. So walking can tone your legs and your abdominal muscles. Even your arm muscles too, if you're pumping them as you walk. And some people like to bring weights with them as they walk so that you can really strengthen your arms. It also increases your range of motion by shifting the pressure and the weight from your joints and your muscles. It can also help improve your sleep. A study shows that women ages 50 to 75 who took one hour walks in the morning were more likely to relieve dementia, um, sorry, insomnia than women who didn't walk. It can also slow down mental decline. Researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, found that age-related memory decline was lower in those who walked more. So women walking 2.5 miles a day had a 17% decline in memory, as, a, as opposed to women who weren't walking had a 25% decline in memory. And last but not least, it can also improve your breath, which we are constantly working on with meditation and yoga. Your breathing rate will increase, which will cause oxygen to travel faster through your bloodstream, helping to eliminate waste products, improve energy levels, and the ability to heal. And this is why breath, breath work is so important. This is why we use breath to help us start with each exercise. And this is also why we help it, why it helps us meditate. It has a healing ability. And we're also using it to help us improve our energy levels. 
And that's exactly why I encourage you to get outside today and take a little walk or some movement with your body so that you can link up breath and movement. Thinking about what we just learned today, how walking is so important. Maybe we can make an effort to incorporate more walking throughout our days and our weeks to become healthier individuals all around. I hope that you enjoyed your time outside today and I hope that you learned a lot about how walking can benefit you in your daily life.